All right, now that I uh, went ahead and got the edge of the workpiece found, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to set up my cutting tool. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, 5 16 inch cutting tool. So what we're going to do is, since we're spindle is still right on the edge, um, half of that is protruding into the workpiece, which if we divide that in half, take a 317, divide it in half, you're going to get about 159 thousandths is how far we're in there. I want to go ahead and take a 200 thousandths. So I'm going to add 41 thousandths, uh, get a wider cut. Um, I want to be able to do the 400 thousandths across this piece with uh, two cuts. I don't want to do any more than two cuts. So <clears throat> I'm going to set up my wheels and we'll pull it in 41 thousandths. Lock that in there. <clears throat> okay, so we're now ready to start the cutting here. Um, the next part I'm going to have to take care of is finding the uh, top of the workpiece because what we're going to be doing is actually cutting in a small indention into the surface here to uh, to mimic what you see in profile there. So we're going to cut a similar uh, indention into it using the, the cutting tool here. Right, what I usually do when it's uh, not extremely critical that I be perfect, um, I will typically take it and lower it down till it's pretty much just just about to touch it. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on very very slow right now. Engage the fine feed. Um, this will start feeding it down at very small increments. And I'll just start lowering it down a thousandth at a time. Until I first start to see some, uh, some little scrapes showing up there. Uh, once I do that, I'll go ahead and mark that position as zero. And we'll call that the top of our, top of our cut here. Alright, so there's half the cut made. Alright, so I moved over 200 thousandths now, and uh, we're going to repeat. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and do the, uh, kind of finish it up. I'm going to go five thousandths more. And 
then I'll back up 200,000. I'm going to, have to do from here is uh, find the location of my drill point. Uh, it's going to be a quarter inch uh, into the piece in this direction, and it's going to be uh, two hundredths in in this direction. So I want to go ahead and locate those points. So for the quarter inch, it's pretty easy. It's just four turns. Now, the two hundredths is a little trickier. Um, it's three turns plus twelve and a half thousandths. Two, three. All right, so that puts us right over the point where we want to drill our hole. I'm going to use a center drill here since I didn't have a I don't have a center punch mark on here. Um, the center drill helps keep the longer drill bit from wandering around when we make the uh, the full cut. So since it's a little stubby and short, it doesn't move around nearly as much as a longer drill bit will. center drilled. Um, I'll use that center drill location there to uh, start the larger bit. So using my uh, handy little tap set here, um, I'm slowly building a collection of them. But on this tap set I've got a uh, set out here. Let's lighten this out a little bit. In this tap set I've actually got the uh, tap drill for a quarter inch um, tap. Getting oil in there. All right, so should be ready to go ahead and drill this all the way through. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, drill the quarter inch hole that goes through this piece. Or, um, then in order to do that I'm actually going to have to remove these parallels. Um, the parallels are these pieces here that are actually holding this piece up in the vise. Um, the reason being is that quarter inch bit is uh, too hard, or I'm sorry, too, uh, too wide to fit in between these two parallels. So if I don't take them out, I'll end up uh, chewing them up. <laughs> 